Good morning, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the Ardenweald multi farm. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to be going over the Ardenweald multi farm. Now this is will be using mining and herbalism and more to be precise, the actual route that I am using is the one within Worth It. This one is going to be the one that I use for herbalism and such. If you are wanting to get a hold of the route, just go into Worth It and just find a Vigil's Torch under Herbs. Other than that, this is a very bog standard farm. As you can see on the map right now, you're basically going in near enough an ellipse. And other than that, it's pretty dang simple in order to do. You will, however, when you get to around about this area here, you will get a chance of getting attacked in the top left um, due to the fact that there are quite a lot of mobs in that area. So just be prepared for that. Just make sure that you've got your Shadowlands gathering because that will be a factor in how fast you can actually gather, of course, and make sure that you actually have a character with mining and herbalism in order to do this. I prefer my prefer my druid because she can just do a lot of things that most other classes cannot like her shadow meld comes in very handy when a load of mobs are about to attack you and you really can't be bothered to actually deal with that aside from all of that what do we actually get for the actual hour well we actually got a nice amount and i cleaned up my bag somewhere there we are we actually got in this hour's worth of farming was 2,348 golds worth of death blossom, which came to around about 332 of those. A lithium ore, which we got eight of that, not really that great. Um, that's 908 gold for those. Lace dry ore, we got 528 of that for 6,295 gold, as well as a lovely nightshade, 64 of that for 1,634 gold. And Phaedrium Ore, we got 320 of those for 3,600 gold. Porous Stone, 52 for 9 gold. Twilight Bark, 21 of that for 17 gold. And the Creme de la Creme, Vigil's Torch, was 412 Vigil's Torch for 12,489 gold. This came to a lovely 37,000 gold per hour, and I could not be happier. And overall, this actually came up to a nice amount of gold. Seriously, at the moment, Shadowlands farms, because not a lot of play people are playing that much at the moment, um, or gold farmers aren't actually playing that much at the moment. I can't really tell, but to be honest, since the actual massive hit, since 9.1, a lot of the gold value for things have gone up because the supply isn't there that much anymore. So for every gold maker at the moment, it's pretty looking quite good in that sense uh, when it comes towards gold making because 37,000 gold and this is Argent Dawn EU is pretty dang good. Now I do have a little tip for you guys because I did find in, run into a bit of competition when I was doing this farm. I run counterclockwise when I'm farming. So when it comes towards clockwise people will usually tend to farm like that. So clockwise I run counterclockwise and thus I actually generally get more herbs and ore per hour. So that's my little tidbit for today, is run counterclockwise and you should be able to get a decent gold per hour for your time, just in general. Now, I currently love the Ardenweald farm because unlike marrow root farming, it's actually really dang profitable to actually get a hold of this current content stuff because we know current content actually sells and pretty dang fast. I would not be surprised if I sold all of this by the like next couple of days. So very happy with all of that right there. Um, and especially being that the and especially being that Ardenweald is I only ran into a couple of people when I was farming this. Uh, unlike like marrow roots, which I farm quite regularly. Um, <laughs> you will tend to find that you get a lot more competition in Maldraxxus than Ardenweald. So this is a nice alternative with a decent gold per hour for you in order to actually do. So this is definitely a farm that I would highly recommend doing because it just works so well. Other than that, what you will be able to find down below in the description is my worth of import for this to see how much gold it's worth on your server 
in being specific. So just be prepared for that. Just import it into worth it and see how much gold per hour you can get for that as well. And other than that, like I said before, with the root, you can just go into herbs within worth it. You can just go into herbs with worth it Go and just type in Vigil's Torch, which you can then find there, and then just import the root, which is just there. So, other than that, that's a decent amount of gold per hour. Very dang happy with all of that. And I definitely want to update all of the multi farms and standardized farms within Worth It as well. So, this is a nice way to lead towards that. Other than that, guys, if you want to support the channel, then jump over towards the Patreon. I do have a lot of TSM strings already set up for everyone. I've just updated them for Shadowlands and just for everyone in general with a bit more precision towards all of those. And also with the Worth It report, which comes along with the Patreon every week going over a certain topic. And then you guys can enjoy some nice light reading for all of that stuff. Have a lovely rest of the day guys and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.